so, uh, the game startup is a bit different. Hmm. Oh, well. I'm sure everything's fine. Um, alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Undertale. It has been a little bit since I've recorded. Um, you guys have been having pretty regular updates, I think. Uh, I'm on episode, like, four, I think, uploaded. So, every, you know, cross my fingers, everything is perfectly fine. And in the last episode, which I just finished editing, we went through and did the papyrus -ness. Papyrus, hmm, I, I feel like I made a mistake there. All right, I'm going to put on this bandage. You reapplied the bandage, still kind of gooey, and your HP was... I didn't mean to... Hmm. Uh, I'm going to be right back. All right, there was totally nothing weird happening with that, and I totally didn't... Not mean to use that in heals 10 HP. It has already been used several times. Eh. It's gonna grow us in my opinion. For now, I'm keeping that item. I meant to put the bandage away and uh you know I'm not gonna I'm gonna stop by the store and see if they have any other kind of armor available. They do not. I wanted to test something, but it seems that I failed. And me being who I am in last episode going, oh, I'm just gonna put on this item I bought for use later. And, uh, yeah, I kind of made a mistake. I completely used the item that I wanted to keep for later. I wanted to put on my manly bandana after this fight, after a certain thing happens. That's where we fought Papyrus, then we went back for our date, and now we're moving on. And the underground's underground cave system. Yeah. Kind of redundant. Alright. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. Yo, are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome! She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. <laughs> okay, I'm ready when you are. Oh, okay. Neat, huh? Neat, huh? Oh, okay. I cannot go behind this one, so I can't check for any, uh... Of those like uh, cameras here oh well the sound of rushing water fills you with determination yep and what have you seen a guy with two jobs before fortunately two jobs with twice as many legally required breaks I'm going to grill these you want to come sure yeah well if you insist I'll pry myself away from my work over here I know shortcut that's right, we're back to Grillby's. Fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Greeting, Sans. Hiya, Sansy. Hey, Sans. Were you just here for a breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, no, I've had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. <laughs> here, get comfy. <laughs> Whoops! Watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Uh, mm, I'm kind of a burger, you know. It's, it's Grillby's. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Grillby, we'll have a double order of burg. So, what do you think of my brother? Oh, he's so cool. Of course he's cool. He'd be cool too if he wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. <laughs> That's, uh, interesting. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Uh, sure. Bon appetit. You tip the ketchup, the cap falls off and all the ketchup in the bottle pours onto your food. 
Whoops. Eh, forget about it. You can have mine. I'm not hungry anyway. Scratching his butt, really? Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree Papyrus tries real hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard. He begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. I guess you can see that he was quite determined. It's, uh, still a work in progress. Huh. Cool. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? In yellow letters? Yes, I have. So you know all about it. The Echo Flower. In blue letters. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? It's just a uh, 10,000 G. I mean, for you, anything, bro. Just kidding. Groovy, put it on my tab. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. Oh. Oopsies, 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 grubs. Groby said that your food is probably cold by now. Huh. The capital is getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're gonna... Oh. Yeah, I, I've already read this. I want to see if anyone says anything. Sans is interesting. He's told me all kinds of incredible foods, but despite his knowledge, he always orders the worst burger off the menu. Huh. Sansy, come back and sit with me. Everything's so fun when you're around. Okay. I was hoping Sans came in to give me a pat on the head. Interloper. I like Sans. Sometimes he feeds us scraps of food under the table. Then his brother gets mad. But why? We're adults. We can handle it. Um. Alright. Nothing new there. Huh? Since when did you and Sans become friends? I don't like him. He loves to appear without moving. What? Appear without moving, huh? <laughs> and that's weird face once again. It's playing poker against itself and appears to be losing. Sans is the most regular, regular of all. He hasn't been showing up as much recently, though. Okay. Sans is a sentry, but don't let his title make you think he does anything. Everyone knows he just sits around in the forest reading car magazines. Car magazines in red, I mean, not red, yellow letters. Who's colorblind now, me or the dog? Everyone's always laughing and cracking, ch oh yeah, I, I read this during the last episode, or maybe the episode before, probably the episode before. The library. Welcome to the library. Yes, we know. All right. I don't think there's going to be anything new here in town right now. I'm going to give a quick look around and then I'll uh, move on. That's my monsters and humans. Like cowboys and Indians. Ah, to be young again. The world sure felt boundless. All right. And we've returned. Let's hang out again sometime. Alright. Well, Sans is the coolest of dudes. All that... All that gives my life validation is explaining the Echo Flower. No one can know. What? <laughs> Never trust a flower. That's one of my constants in this world. I need to check this. Does it say anything different? Huh. Weird. 
this is a box. You can put an item in there, take an item out. Why would you, though? You can't use items when they're in the box. Sincerely, a box hater. Have you ever tried to be... Uh, I don't know. I, I have a joke with that, but... Why... I swear I saw something behind that rushing water. Okay. Huh? There's a camera behind the waterfall. What? Why here? I need to test something. Uh, I'm not lower in health by the rocks going by me, so I don't even know what the point of that is. Oh, probably to push you down. Yeah. Actually, real quick. <gasps> ha ha! There's a 2 2 lying on the ground here. Will you take it? Yes, I will! I am going to be fabulous! And this will let me do the thing I want to do. Old 2 2 armor, defense 10. Finally, a protective piece of armor. Um, I'm going to delay putting it on, though. I have a reason. Don't worry. I love the aesthetic with this. Hi, Undyne. I'm here with my daily report. Uh, regarding that human I called you about earlier. Huh? Did I fight them? Y yes, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What? Did I capture them? Well, I, no. I tried very hard, Undyne, but in the end, I failed. What? You're gonna take the human soul yourself? But Undyne, you don't have to destroy them. You see? You see? Uh, I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. Um, I guess we finally met Undyne, who's carrying a blue spear. And Undyne just faded into oblivion. Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome! I'm so jealous! What did you do to get her attention? <laughs> Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. And he fell. Maybe if he had arms, he might do better in life. A feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. I could end things here, but that would be cheap. When four birds see the line in the water, they will sprout. Will they now? Um, I guess that just means you need to throw this here. And then you throw this here. And then you grab this, and you throw this here. And then you throw this here. Make sure that there's nothing hidden here, because this game's liable to do that to you. Oh well. Oh no, Aaron flexes in. Um, I'm gonna shoo him away. You tell Aaron to go away. Wow, Spunky, love it. Ow. Mm. Smells like a muscle farm. Gross. You, you tell Aaron to go away. Feisty, huh? Oh my, those are- why are there multiple arms? Ow! Aaron is splashing you playfully. You tell Aaron to go away. Wow, Spunky, love it. Aaron is admiring his own muscles. Um, maybe I'm supposed to check him? Attack 24, defense 12. The seahorse has a lot of HP, horsepower. All of his attacks are hard to dodge at the bottom of the box. Check all you want. Okay, yeah, I need to check then. Aaron is splashing you playfully. Ch 
check all you want. Or maybe not. Maybe education, hobby, talent. Ooh, I'm sweating. Um, I'm gonna be honest. I have no idea what to do here. It smells like an underwater barnyard. No need for a swimming suit. Okay, this guy is really starting to like creep me out. He's sweating bullets. Woo, I'm sweating. Oh, sweating bullets. Oh, I see what you did there, you clever little. Is this as sweet as you? You recovered 15 HP. Come on in, the water's fine. Um, education, huh? Okay, I'm not doing that right. Maybe I'm supposed to have a flex off with him? I thought that was wrong, though. You flex. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Attack increases for you, too. Flexing contest? Okay, flex more. Ow. Is ready for your next flex. Okay, I guess this is what I'm supposed to do. You flex harder. Aaron flexes thrice as hard. Attack increases for you, too. Nice. I won't lose, though. This is incredibly, like... Like, like, disturbing? Yeah, that's the one person. It's ready for your next flex. You flex. Aaron flexes very hard. He flexes himself out of the room. You won and you earned 30 gold. Okay, so that's what I needed to do. Alright, cool. Then, how do I do this? Um. If an error is made, the Bell Blossom can call bridge seats back to where they started. Um, how do I do this? One two, three, four. Yeah, all right, I got it. Ring. Hello, this is Papyrus. How did I get this number? Oh, it was easy. I just out every number sequentially till I got yours. Yeah. So, what are you wearing? I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a bandana. Is that true? Are you wearing a bandana? I mean, yes, I am currently wearing a bandana. So you're wearing a bandana! Got it! Wink, wink! Have a nice day! Click. And that's why I'm testing this. I'm gonna put on the old tutu now. And I'm gonna check the stats on this to see how much my defense went up by three. Okay. I'm going to see if this saves my life. I remember a bit of this part, and I remember that uh, weird things happen, and that uh, you're gonna need to change your clothes, because I didn't last time. A long time ago, monsters whisper their wishes to the stars in the sky. If you hoped with all your heart, your wish could come true. Now, all we have are these sparkling stones on the ceiling. Wishing room. Thousands of people wishing together can't be wrong. The king will prove that. Washua shuffles up. Um, let's clean. You ask Washua to clean you. It hops around excitedly. Green means clean. Tweet. Dang it, is looking for some good clean fun. You ask Washua to clean you. It hops around excitedly. Green means clean. Tweet. Washa wonders if tears are sanitary. Um, 25 gold. Sweet. Come on, sis. Make a wish. I wish my sister and I will see the real star someday. 
Look through the telescope? Sure. I mean, what did I expect? Alright. Now, I could heal, but I'm not going to yet. Ah, it seems my horoscope is the same as last week's. I feel bad for the monsters. Of course. I mean, who didn't see that coming? Seriously, though, the monsters, they didn't deserve this. Ancient writing covers the walls. You can just make out the words. The war of humans and monsters. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside the human body, even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul, a horrible beast with unfathomable power. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. Oh, I thought that was a path, not a bridge. That's odd. Don't ask why I'm doing this, but I'm doing it. Oh god. Oh right, yeah, I can't. Just because it's a blue spear doesn't mean anything. Crap. Ah! Stop being so much power! I'd already be dead if it wasn't for that unicycle. Unicycle? Yo, did you see that? Undyne just touched me. I'm never washing my face ever again. Man, are you unlucky. If you were standing just a little bit to the left. Yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. Yep, yeah, putting on a tutu didn't help any. I'm pretty sure that was what I was thinking of before. And it did not help at all. So that kind of sucks. This cheese has been here so long, a magical crystal has grown around it. It's stuck to the table. Aw, mouse! Squeak. Squeak. Wait, wait. Squeak. Okay, it just does the mouse thing. Wait, what? Three gold for the fairy? I th think... I think I know what that is, and I think I'm going to keep that for later. Knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the mystical crystal, it fills you with determination. Alright guys, next time on Let's Play Undertale, we're going to be moving on. We're in the waterfall crystal area, apparently, I don't know, but Bisquick is staying strong. He, she, it is determined. Bisquick is determined to make it through, to get past Undyne. And Papyrus is apparently supporting us in some way or another. I don't know. But no matter what, stay determined. I'll see you guys next time.